Proto-Norse also called Proto-Scandinavian, Proto-Nordic, Ancient Scandinavian, Proto-North Germanic and a variety of other names was an Indo-European language spoken in Scandinavia that is thought to have evolved as a northern dialect of Proto-Germanic in the 1st century CE. It is the earliest stage of a characteristically North Germanic language, and the language attested in the oldest Scandinavian elder Futhark inscriptions, spoken from around the 2nd to the 8th centuries CE corresponding to the late Roman Iron Age and the Germanic Iron Age. It evolved into the dialects of Old Norse at the beginning of the Viking Age around 800 CE, which later themselves evolved into the modern North Germanic languages Faroese, Icelandic, the three continental Scandinavian languages, and their dialects. Phonology Proto-Norse phonology probably did not differ substantially from that of Proto-Germanic. Although the phonetic realization of several phonemes had probably changed over time as with any language, the overall system of phonemes and their distribution remained largely unchanged. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Consonants. N assimilated to a following velar consonant. It was before a plain velar and probably before a labial velar consonant. Unlike its Proto-Germanic ancestor, X, the phoneme, H, was probably no longer a fricative. It eventually disappeared except word initially. Beta, and, were allophones of, B, D, and, and occurred in most word medial positions. Plosives appeared when the consonants were lengthened, geminated, and also after a nasal consonant. Word finally, B, D, and, were devoiced and merged with, P, T, K. The exact realization of the phoneme, z, traditionally written as, in transcriptions of runic Norse not to be confused with the phonetic symbol, is unclear. While it was a simple alveolar sibilant in Proto-Germanic as in Gothic, it eventually underwent rhoticization and merged with, r, towards the end of the runic period. It may have been pronounced as, or, tending towards a trill in the later period. The sound was still written with its own letter in runic Old East Norse around the end of the millennium. Topic. Vowels The system of vowels differed somewhat more from that of Proto-Germanic than the consonants. Earlier, had been lowered to, and unstressed, i, and, u, had developed into, e, and. Shortening of word final vowels had eliminated the Proto-Germanic over long vowels. O, had developed from, u, through a mutation. It also occurred word finally as a result of the shortening of Proto-Germanic. The long nasal vowels, and, occurred only before, h. Their presence was noted in the 12th century first grammatical treatise, and they survive in modern Elfdalian. All other nasal vowels occurred only word finally, although it is unclear whether they had retained their nasality in Proto-Norse or had already merged with the oral vowels. The vowels, o, and, were contrastive, however, as the former eventually developed into, u, triggering u mutation while the latter was lowered to the back vowels probably had central or front allophones when i or j followed as a result of i mutation greater than a greater than ash u greater than u greater than later y y greater than later or o stroke o did not originally occur before i or j but it was later introduced by analogy as can be seen on the gallus horns its allophone was probably later o Towards the end of the Proto-Norse period, stressed, e, underwent breaking, becoming a rising diphthong, j. Also towards the end of the Proto-Norse period, u mutation began to take effect, which created rounded allophones of unrounded vowels. Diphthongs <inaudible> 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 At least the following diphthongs were present, i, u, e, u, u. U, was later rounded to, U, due to U mutation. E, U, eventually underwent breaking to become the triphthong, Ju. This was preserved in Old Gutnish, but simplified to a long rising, Jo, or, Ju, in other areas. As, U, occurred exclusively in environments with I mutation, its realization was probably fronted, I. This then developed further into, I, Y, which then became, Y. Topic. Accent Old Norse had a stress accent which fell on the first syllable. 
Several scholars have proposed that Proto Norse also had a separate pitch accent, which was inherited from Proto Indo European and has evolved into the tonal accents of modern Swedish and Norwegian, which in turn have evolved into the stad of modern Danish. Another recently advanced theory is that each Proto Norse long syllable and every other short syllable received stress, marked by pitch, eventually leading to the development of the Swedish and Norwegian tonal accent distinction. Finally, quite a number of linguists have assumed that even the first phonetic rudiments of the distinction did not appear until the Old Norse period. <laughs> Attestations Runic inscriptions The surviving examples of Proto-Norse are all runic inscriptions in the Elder Futhark. There are about 260 surviving Elder Futhark inscriptions in Proto-Norse, the earliest dating to the 2nd century. Examples Ove Stabu Spearhead, Opland, Norway. 2nd century Ranias, on Ron. Tester. Cf. Norwegian Roin. Try, test. Swedish Utrona. Find out. The word formation with a suffix ija is evidence of Sievers' law. Golden Horn of Gallus II, South Jutland, Denmark 400 CE, Ek Hilawagastis Holtias Horna Tewido. I, Hilawagastis of Holt, made the horn. Note again the ija suffix. Tune Stone, Ostfold, Norway, 400 CE Ek Wiwas after Widuride Widadahalibin Warato. Me Z Widuride Stena Rihas Dotris Deliden Arbaja Siostas Arbajano, I Wiwas, after Widuridas Bread Warden Rot. For me Widuridas, the stone, three daughters prepared, the most noble of heirs. The Einang Stone, near Fagerns, Norway, is dated to the 4th century. It contains the message ek go de gastas runo fihido i go de guest drew the secret in on ek go gesture run fa. The first four letters of the inscription have not survived and are conjectured, and the personal name could well have been Gudagasti or something similar. Kragahul Spear, Denmark, c. 500 CE ek Arillas Asugisalas Muha hate, Gagaga Jinuga, he less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 lija. Hagala Wijubi. Possibly, I, Errol of Asgisl, was named Muha, Ga 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 Mighty Ga Ga being most likely an abbreviation of indeterminable reference, incomplete Hail I Consecrate. The Bjorkatorp runestone, Bleken, Sweden, is one of three menhirs, but is the only one of them where, in the 6th century, someone wrote a curse, Hides Runo Runu Falk Hedra Jinarunas Arju Hermelausch, Wieladau Saz at Breit's Uarba Spa Here, I have hidden the secret of powerful runes, strong runes. The one who breaks this memorial will be eternally tormented by anger. Treacherous death will hit him. I foresee perdition. The Ro runestone, in Bohuslan, Sweden, was raised in the early 5th century and is the longest early inscription, Ek Razaz, Raz Satito S. Tain a. Swabaharjaz S. A. Irawidas. Stainawarias Fahido. I. Razaz, Raz raised the stone. Swabaharjaz with wide wounds. Stainawarias stone guardians carved topic loanwords numerous early germanic words have survived largely unchanged as borrowings in finnic languages some of these may be of proto-germanic origin or older still but others reflect developments specific to norse some examples with the reconstructed proto-norse form estonian finnish kuningas king old norse kuninger kanunger finnish rutinas prince lord old norse draten finnish saras sick sor old norse sar estonian juist finnish justo cheese estonian finnish lamas sheep lamb old norse lamb finnish herskas pious prudent wise quick-minded old norse or kr finnish runo poem rune Secret, mystery, rune, Old Norse run, Finnish V A A T E, garment, Finnish visas, wise. Topic other some Proto Norse names are found in Latin works like tribal names like Suiones, asterisk Suiones, Swedes. Others can be conjectured from manuscripts such as Beowulf. Topic evolution. Topic Proto Germanic to Proto Norse. The differences between attested Proto Norse and unattested Proto Germanic are rather small. Separating Proto-Norse from Northwest Germanic can be said to be a matter of convention, as sufficient evidence from the remaining parts of the Germanic-speaking area Northern Germany and the Netherlands is lacking in a degree to provide sufficient comparison. Inscriptions found in Scandinavia are considered to be in Proto-Norse. Several scholars argue about this subject matter. 
Wolfgang von Krause sees the language of the runic inscriptions of the Proto-Norse period as an immediate precursor to Old Norse, but Elmer and Tonson views them as Northwest Germanic, but his views on runic script and related subjects might be considered extreme. One early difference shared by the West Germanic dialects is the monophthongization of unstressed diphthongs. Unstressed asterisk i became e, as in hate kragahul i from Proto-Germanic asterisk hytai, and unstressed asterisk o likewise became o. Characteristic is also the Proto-Norse lowering of Proto-Germanic stressed e to a, which is demonstrated by the pair Gothic mina and Old Norse mani English moon. Proto-Norse thus differs from the early West Germanic dialects, as West Germanic E was lowered to A regardless of stress. In Old Norse, earlier unstressed E surfaces as I. For example, the weak third person singular past tense ending de appears in Old High German as ta, with a low vowel, but in Old Norse as I, with a high vowel. The time that asterisk Z, a voiced apical alveolar fricative, represented in runic writing by the alges rune, changed to an apical post-alveolar approximant, is debated. If the general Proto-Norse principle of devoicing of consonants in final position is taken into account, asterisk z, if retained, would have been devoiced to s and would be spelled as such in runes. There is, however, no trace of that in the Elder Futhark runic inscriptions, so it can be safely assumed that the quality of this consonant must have changed before the devoicing, or the phoneme would not have been marked with a rune different from the Sowillow rune used for s. The quality of the consonant can be conjectured, and the general opinion is that it was something between z and r, the Old Norse reflex of the sound. In Old Swedish, the phonemic distinction between r and was retained into the 11th century, as shown by the numerous runestones from Sweden from then. <laughs> Proto-Norse to Old Norse From 500 to 800, two great changes occurred within Proto-Norse. Umlauts appeared, which means that a vowel was influenced by the succeeding vowel or semivowel. Old Norse gestr guest came from pn gastas guest. Another sound change is known as vowel breaking, in which the vowel changed into a diphthong, hjarta from asterisk herta or fjor from asterisk feras. Umlauts resulted in the appearance of the new vowels y, like phila from asterisk fulajana, and o, like doma from asterisk domajana. The umlauts are divided into three categories, a umlaut, i umlaut and u umlaut, the last was still productive in Old Norse. The first, however, appeared very early, and its effect can be seen already around 500, on the golden horns of Gallus. The variation caused by the umlauts was itself no great disruption in the language. It merely introduced new allophones of back vowels if certain vowels were in following syllables. However, the changes brought forth by syncope made the umlaut vowels a distinctive non-transparent feature of the morphology and phonology, phonicizing what were previously allophones. Syncope shortened the long vowels of unstressed syllables, many shortened vowels were lost. Also, most short unstressed vowels were lost. As in pn, the stress accent lay on the first syllable words as pn asterisk catalos became on catler cauldrons, pn horna was changed into Old Norse horn and pn gastas resulted in on gestr guest. Some words underwent even more drastic changes, like asterisk habukas which changed into on hauker hawk. References External links General information Proto-Norse paradigms and links